Hi everyone, it's Nicole. I'm back with another layout using the March Scraptastic kit. This is the 12th layout using this kit and it took me an hour and 14 minutes to complete. I'm showing you a lot of the products that came in the kit, a lot of die cuts. And um, this is a full sheet of that Simple Stories paper, that Bella Boulevard camera paper that is one of my favorite. And I'm gonna do the whole thing on a aqua background. I'm going to map the photo in a deep, it's not really navy, it's more like a deep teal uh, cardstock. And I'm going to mount the photo on that. And then I'm just going to build layers with pattern papers. And a lot of it is scraps and a lot of it, a uh, few of them are full sheets of pattern paper. I'm actually working on the 15th layout right now. I am down to like scrap scraps. I I'm finding it hard to uh, find scraps that are remaining that are in coordinating colors, I guess, or colors that won't clash that will work with the layout. You know, um, there was quite a difference in the palette of colors this this time, so. I don't know how many layouts I'm actually going to get done. I know I have one pattern paper that's from Basic Gray Capture Line. And it's the one actually that I'm cutting out right now, the one with the polka dots. And I have a full sheet of that and I want to use it as a background. I have no coordinate, coordinating papers to put with it. So I'll be digging into my stash and taking out pattern papers because I want to use that pattern paper. I absolutely love it. And I don't want it to be you know, put in my stash and not used for a while. I want to use it right now. So I cut down, uh, like I said, a few pattern papers. There's the one from Basic Gray, the capture line. There's this one here with the um, arrows. And then after that, I had a scrap of those polka dots. I'm going to cut a chunk of those cameras to put underneath the photos. But also I'm going to cut three in a row to put at the top right and the bottom left of the layout. Okay, so if you notice that uh, I kind of lose my train of thought here and there, I um, actually have to do my voiceover downstairs because I'm uh, the only one home. So I have to watch the puppy. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's like having a two-year-old at this point and he gets into everything and he just spilt a whole bowl of water so I had to stop the recording and go clean that up um yeah it's like having a little baby around again so I cut a chunk of that like I said that polka dot paper and I used it on this layout a chunk of those cameras and each layer kind of sticks out in a different way uh, the polka dot paper, what I decided to do was the bigger chunk of it. I decided to flip it over and it's that nice, that pattern paper, I had the hardest time deciding which side I want to use because one side is a nice coral color of stripes and the other side are those nice uh, polka dots. So I just used a small chunk of the polka dots and the bigger one of the stripes because I think I used the polka dots more than I did the stripes in my layouts. I only have a little bit of that basic gray grid and I'm using it to, you know, its maximum. Now I'm using a punch, a circle punch, and I'm just punching half circles out because there's no way I can punch full circles out of it because all I have literally is little scraps, but I don't even want to throw away a little scrap of it like I want to use it all on my layout all my layouts I just love that pattern paper so I'm gonna I cut out three circles for this layout now um, where there is so many different pattern papers on this layout I'm going to outline all the layers and it just kind of you know gives it something in common because otherwise they look like they're disconnected so I'm just double outlining because I couldn't draw a straight line to save my life. And I think part of it is because I stand, 
I stand up to scrapbook, I'm not sitting down. If I could sit down, I could actually put my arm resting and and um, do the lines. But I stand up and I really, I don't mind that the lines aren't perfectly straight anyway. Like it's not a big concern of mine. So, but if you would want it to be straight, just sit down and then your arm, you'd have more control of your arm. But uh I scrapbook standing up because because of my back. If I sit down, I can only uh, scrap maybe half the time. So I just kind of finished off the lines there. And now I'm having major issues with my ATG roll, this, this one. And that's one thing about these ATG rolls. They're really cheap, but once in a while, you'll get one that's a pain. It just will not work the way it's supposed to. And you just got to tough through that one roll and then you'll go maybe, you know, six to 10 rolls without an issue and then you'll get an issue with another one. So for the difference in price, you know, a dollar seventy to, you know, $5 a roll, I'll deal with the pain once in a while. So now that I like the amount of layers that I have, I'm just going to start gluing each layer and just kind of tucking one in behind the other, just making sure that each pattern paper is sticking out just a little bit so that you can see the pattern papers and making sure that it touches um, a few of the other pattern papers as I lay them down so that it makes them connected. Because otherwise, like for that camera paper, if I would have set, put it down so it didn't touch that circle paper right above it, then I would have had this trapped space in between and it would have looked weird because it shouldn't be there. Now, if it comes to a point that your pattern paper is too small and it does that, not a problem. Just make sure that when you do your embellishments, that you choose this area as one of your embellishment clusters and then you can cover it and then no one will know that you know there's a big gaping hole there <laughs> okay now I took some of those little cameras that came from the Basil no Bella Boulevard pattern paper and I'm going to detail cut them and I'm going to use them as element you know, decorative elements on the page. And I absolutely love those little cameras. And um, I'm kind of being fussy, you know, how I use this pattern paper because I want to keep at least half a sheet of this pattern paper to use only as little cameras. So then what I'll do is I'll just sit down and uh, I'll just cut them all out and have them in a little baggie and then I'll be more apt to use them. I'm looking for a washi tape that I want to use on this layout and I'm going to end up using the Amy Tangerine, the really thin one and it's a nice teal color and it works really well with these colors. Then I went into my little iris container and I had bought the extra wood veneer from the Scraptastic kit and I took out three hearts. I guess I took out four hearts. And um, there goes my ETG again. So I'm gonna take a few seconds to fix that up. For some reason it doesn't um, roll on the second roller thing, it just goes back in like tries to go through again and then it messes it all up so I'm feeling good about those layers so I'm gonna glue everything down and then I'm gonna start working on my embellishment clusters and I'm trying to find the perfect color that matches with these these tones of papers ace oh puppies it's like having a two-year-old and uh, sorry about that. And so I just used my um, my sponge and the color that I used was the Tide Pool Blue. And I'm going to use that basil paper as a layering 
element to you know put down my clusters so basically that half circle right now is taking the place of the doilies okay so hopefully he'll be good for a while I had to stop the recording again and take him outside so hopefully he'll go have a nap or something so now at this point I'm going to start gluing everything down and I find that those little heartwood veneer um, they're really kind of sticking out on the page so I'm going to try to figure out something so that they um, coordinate more so I'm going to add some Stampin Dimensional in behind those little cameras and I'm going to pop them up on the page. And I am going to glue those hearts down in the color that they're in right now. I'm going to add some washi tape and it's the thin washi tape from Amy Tangerine and I love that washi tape. I'm going to add it sort of vertically next to those row of cameras and then also at each cluster. And like I said, I'm going to glue those hearts down in the wood veneer color or uncolored. And then at one point I'm going to be thinking, mm, no, I don't really like them that way. And I'm going to ri literally rip them off the page and then color them in. So at this point the battery dies so I come back and this is where I decide nope rip them all off and I'm going to color them in. So I take one of those Hero Arts daubers in the Tide Pool Blue and what I do is I take a Stampin' Block and I put a little bit of um, this to that dot adhesive and I glue them down because there's nothing that I dislike more than chasing um, embellishments around when you're trying to dry them up so I usually glue them down because I like I said I don't like chasing stuff and, and then it ends up falling on the floor and then you get you know so I tape them down or glue them down temporarily and then they're easy to um, dry up and at this point once they were dried I took some liquid glass from close to my heart and and the only thing that you need to remember is to set them aside because it does take um, up to a couple of hours until they are you know completely dry but I love that look it turns anything into like an epoxy uh, looking sticker or not sticker but element so again I'm trying to use up those Amy Tangerine stickers and this one says here we go and then at first I take the Ellie Studio um, little aqua font but I find it doesn't stick out enough I'm going to try to use these stickers that we got actually it was in a Studio Calico kit but it's just too big. I had all the letters that I needed to make the word I wanted to, but it was just too big. It wasn't going to fit in that allotted area that I had left. So when I glued my pattern papers together, I was thinking of, about my title and I knew I wanted to put my title on that diagonal stripe pattern paper to the right of the layout. And I like doing that. I like putting my titles to the side of the layouts um, and you know just for something different instead of always on top or you know on top of the layout or on the bottom once in a while I like to do it on the side of the layouts I think I've done it quite a few times uh, this time around I guess I got tired of my layouts you know having the title always in the same spot so this is a picture of my daughter and we were at um, the Nationals in Niagara Falls. This was three years ago. And um, anyway, she, we were just standing there waiting for uh, to go for practice or to go somewhere. And I said, can you do that thing where, you know, you kind of take your leg and you lift it right up behind your head 
and because every time she does this she's up in a pyramid and it, it just or up on you know someone's lifting her and doing this and it's so fast and I don't really have time to take really really good pictures of her doing this so I said can you just do it right here and she said right here in the hotel lobby and I'm like yeah it's all cheerleaders so anyway she did it and um so I always you know think to myself or say it out loud here we go just like a pretzel because that's what she reminds me is like when she does that she just looks like she's a pretzel she can you know make her body do stuff like a pretzel kind of thing and uh so that's the entire time I was doing this layout that's the the thought that I had you know here we go just like a pretzel so I figured that's what the title was going to have to be and now I'm looking for some enamel dots I looked at the enamel dots that came in the kit and the blue was just too different so I decided to go in my stash and these are from we are memory keepers and they're kind of cool they have uh, geotags triangles hearts so I just took the regular enamel dots and uh, one of those enamel hearts and then I decide to use the Teresa Collins tiny letters tiny sticker letters and I like them more than I did the Ellie studio I just found the Ellie studio one they just kind of not that they blend it in the background too much but they just didn't pop enough and I wanted again you know that I like having different looking fonts so I had a scriptive a very blocky and then I wanted some um, those square letters you know that in in those um, the way that they they look there sort of like the mini market look uh, the battery died and when I came back I had taken some floss that Annie sent me from Denmark and I still have a bit left to use so I want to make sure that I use it so what I do is I cut it in a you know yeah amount or length and then I there's usually six strands to a floss so I'm gonna separate it and I'm just gonna mess it up and then what I do is I take my quick dry adhesive put it on my finger and then spread it around on the pattern paper and then glue it down and it works really well instead of trying to figure out how to glue those because they're so fine and thin and then um, I did while the battery died I went and got one of those stickers from the Amy Tangerine uh, plus one sticker that came in the kit and I put it right beside the picture and it looks like I don't know like twirlies and it again reminded me of pretzels so I wanted to put that right next to the photo now my hearts are dried enough but when I went to put that last one on I noticed that I tried to put a smaller one there but I had to go back to the same one that I had ripped off because it was when I ripped it off it ripped a huge piece of the back of the pattern paper and um, the little heart wasn't going to cover it so what I end up doing is I end up using both hearts there because I didn't want to put one back in my container I want to use it right away so you'll see in the close-ups in the very next close-up that I layered one heart on top of the other and it worked out fine and it's really cute and I love doing that with um, wood veneer stick wood veneer pieces color them in put some liquid glass and make your own little epoxy stickers so that's it the page is done so thanks for watching bye